Hello and welcome to Inzappers video series for pest control education. Inzappers is Cambridge, Ontario, Canada based pest extermination business and deal with home pest control. Inzappers serves Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, Woodstock, London, Hamilton, Burlington, Oakville, Mississauga, Brampton, Toronto. Call 519-584-4977 if you see any home pests at your home. What are rodents? Rodents, from Latin rodera, to gnaw, are mammals of the order rodentia, slash rodiend, slash, which are characterized by a single pair of continuously growing incisors in each of the upper and lower jaws. About 40% of all mammal species are rodents. They are native to all major land masses except for New Zealand, Antarctica, and several oceanic islands, though they have subsequently been introduced to most of these land masses by human activity. Rodents are extremely diverse in their ecology and lifestyles and can be found in almost every terrestrial habitat, including human-made environments. Species can be arboreal, fossorial, burrowing, saltatorial, slash rickachetal, leaping on their hind legs, or semi-aquatic. However, all rodents share several morphological features, including having only a single upper and lower pair of ever-growing incisors. Well-known rodents include mice, rats, squirrels, prairie dogs, porcupines, beavers, guinea pigs, and hamsters. Rabbits, hares, and pikas, whose incisors also grow continually, but have two pairs of upper incisors instead of one, were once included with them, but are now considered to be in a separate order, the Lagomorpha. Nonetheless, Rodentia and Lagomorpha are sister groups, sharing a single common ancestor and forming the clade of gliars. Most rodents are small animals with robust bodies, short limbs, and long tails. They use their sharp incisors to gnaw food, excavate burrows, and defend themselves. Most eat seeds or other plant material, but some have more varied diets. They tend to be social animals and many species live in societies with complex ways of communicating with each other. Mating among rodents can vary from monogamy to polygyny to promiscuity. Many have litters of underdeveloped, altricial young, while others are precocial, relatively well-developed, at birth. The rodent fossil record dates back to the Paleocene on the supercontinent of Laurasia. Rodents greatly diversified in the Eocene, as they spread across continents, sometimes even crossing oceans. Rodents reached both South America and Madagascar from Africa and, until the arrival of Homo sapiens, were the only terrestrial placental mammals to reach and colonize Australia. Rodents have been used as food, for clothing, as pets, and as laboratory animals in research. Some species, in particular, the brown rat, the black rat, and the house mouse, are serious pests, eating and spoiling food stored by humans and spreading diseases. Accidentally introduced species of rodents are often considered to be invasive and have caused the extinction of numerous species, such as island birds, the dodo being an example, previously isolated from land-based predators. Fires and Floods what many don't realize is, rats and mice love to gnaw, and they'll go after any material. Your wires aren't exempt, and after rodents have chewed through the insulation, they'll get to the metal. As a result, a fire might start, or in a lesser scenario, your home might see a short circuit. At the same time, rodents go after pipes. When they've chewed a hole in one, water leaks out, damaging your property and potentially leading to a flood. And, depending upon the pipes they chew, your home could experience a gas leak or your sewage system make break. Nests The nests themselves aren't a direct structural hazard. Rather, how the rodents acquire the materials is. Rats and mice chew and tear through plastic, cloth, wood, paper, and insulation. As a result, the pests take away crucial aspects of keeping your home warm and powered. With time, as the rodents build more nests, more tearing and holes occur.
gnawing. As rodents will chew on any material, no area of your home is safe. Along with wires and pipes, mice and rats may go after your furniture, sheetrock, wood, and foundation, high-priced items that could be permanently compromised. Ducks In addition to all points mentioned above, rodents may build nests inside your heating and cooling ducts. When this happens, your home's HVAC system is less efficient, exposes everyone to harmful germs and bacteria, and may break. Even though rodents' damage is extensive, homeowners' insurance policies refuse to cover repairs, which means you'll be shouldering all expenses out of pocket. Once you notice a pest or see the signs, it's a must to get an extermination professional involved. Don't wait, give Eliminate Emma a call today for 24-7 pest control service. No matter the time of day, we'll come to your location to assess the problem and provide a solution. Food Damage Rats and mice find their way to get closer to the food. Most people buy food once a week and stock it in the basement or in main kitchen area. Rats and mice find that food easily. They hide near the food and eat it during the night when there is no disturbance or when no one can see them. These food bags are being scrapped when household people find them eaten by mice and rats. Mice are not very fickle when it comes to food, they will feed on a vast array of stored food items or pet foods. If a food item comes in a cardboard box or paper wrapping, it's a double bonus for the mouse. The packaging can be used for nesting and the food inside for eating. While they are in the pantry or cupboard, the mouse also will contaminate food with their urine, droppings, and hair. Although it eats only about 3 grams of food per day, it is estimated that a mouse contaminates and destroys 10 times more food than it eats as it leaves its droppings, nibbles on packages, and leaves numerous partially eaten foods behind, leaving all of it inedible and unfit for humans or pets. Even without food being inside, a mouse will gnaw on plastic containers and wooden items, and shred stored paper, paper towels, napkins, etc., for their nests. Outside, mice and rats can damage the structure of your home in their attempts to get inside. Mice need a hole the size of a dime to squeeze into your home. But if a hole is found, and it's not quite big enough, it will chew on the structure until it is. Mice also can dig up and feed on newly planted crops in gardens, cause damage before harvest, and burrow into other areas on the property for food and nesting. Rats carry dangerous disease to humans. It's no secret if rats carry dangerous disease that could affect humans through its urine and feces. The most famous disease transmitted by rats, including leptospirosis, rat bite fever, and Wiles disease. Leptospirosis is caused by leptospira bacteria that spread through contact with water or food contamination by urine from rats. Rat bite fever, or also known as streptobacillosis, is usually caused by a bite or scratch from an infected rat and or caught by handling infected animals and ingesting food or drink contaminated with rats' feces or urine. Wiles disease transmitted to humans through contact with rat urine. In most cases, Wiles disease commonly occurring through contaminated fresh water. Rats carry fleas and ticks. Fleas are attracted to host on the most common pets like dogs and cats, this one of the reasons why your pet can have fleas too when rat infestation is occurred. Rodents can be a health hazard. Rodents are infamous for carrying diseases. Rodent feces, urine, saliva, and blood can directly transmit a wide variety of diseases, including hantavirus and tularemia. Health hazards that come indirectly from rodents. Additionally, rodents can also carry ticks, lice, and other pests into your home, which means they can indirectly spread even more diseases.
health hazards from rodent byproducts. Although people rarely transmit diseases by coming into direct contact with the rodents in their homes, they are afflicted with diseases after contacting rodent byproducts byproducts, such as waste or fur. Rodents are notoriously unsanitary pests. They leave behind feces, urine, fur, and other remains wherever they live, and especially where they eat. The most common way people get sick from rodent contact is by eating food contaminated with rat droppings. Rats usually feed on dry pantry goods, but they aren't picky and will take just about anything they can find. If you see these signs in your house, then call in Zappers at 519-584-4977. We serve Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge, London, Hamilton, Mississauga, Brampton.